were being killed, attacked by non-Muslim soldiers to curse, kiss, shake, grooming, test bandit. I don't get it. What is going on here? What is this man trying to prove here? Hey, hello, my wonderful people. Nigeria is doomed. Can you imagine? You can now see why the war against these terrorists may not be won too soon. And that is it. The armed forces are being divided along religious lines. This man is causing serious problem in Nigeria. DSS will not be. Nigerian police should immediately invite this man for questioning before he plugs our already uh, fragile nation into something else. If it were to be another uh, a region, you know, person can't talk this kind of thing. I know say by now, DSS go down send invitation. I'll be even going has go career. This is becoming too much. This is what they call inciting words. So what is he supposed what 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 does he trying to do here? Is he trying to cause problem between Christians and Muslim? I not get them. You know, Nigerians are be asking the government, you know, to arrest this guy or question him. How is it that he knew all the hideout of these bandits and all that and nigerian army said they don't they don't know where they day all these bandits this man knew their their hideouts and all that <laughs> we are we are in trouble though. that is it we don't enter rewahala because these bandits hmm, this is uh challenge when we say nigeria they get now hmm. Before we go come out for this matter, now only God go intervene. The way this whole thing is. They, some persons, they, they are not just ready to, to help out matter. Even the government, they are not ready to help out issues because they are not even ready to fight this incident. They are not even ready, they are not prepared to end this, this, this whole uh, uh, nonsense and all that. This is really very, very devastating that we actually find ourselves in this mess. Bandits are being, being given amnesty. For what? For killing people? For raping our mothers and sisters? For displacing thousands of Nigerians? For making lives unbearable for us? You not compensate them. Today, Fulani has men are asking federal government for compensation. Do you know how much they are demanding? 450 billion naira. He said that is for their loss, for the loss of their members. They named during Elsa's Shasha Market and all that in Oyo states and all that. But they have forgotten that the Nigerians, these people have been killing, properties they've destroyed, farmlands they've rendered useless is accountable. Now, they don't begin the account, they give federal government, make it compensate them. When they see the wahala, so that we just did this country, they look. These people are doing us, the more you look, the less you see. But there is no wahala. There is nothing, nothing stays for long. Everything on this earth has ending. Now, so God created them. Anything will get beginning, it will get end. One day we go see the end of all this. And it will surely end. You get it. It will surely end. All these things will end. That is it. So hello guys. Let's get straight to the news and get the full details. But before then, please, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also click um, the follow button for more updates. Thank you very much for let's stopping by. Now the news reads in detail. Kaduna beat Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi as accused non-Muslim soldiers of killing and attacking Muslim bandits. The cleric disclosed this when he led the secretary to the Niger state government, Alahaji Ahmed Montana, and security operative to a meeting with some suspected bandits in Tegana Forest, a border Turn between Niger and Kaduna, uh, sorry, a, a border turn between Niger and the Kaduna state. 
gunmen suspected to be bandits had on Wednesday stormed Government Science College, Gankara, Niger State, adopting many students and staff members. Why one student who tried to escape was gone down, a member of staff luckily broke loose from captivity. A day after the attack, Gumi, who is known to have access to the bandits, met some of them in Tigana Forest and later pushed them for to be granted uh, uh, amnesty. Sahara reporters gathered that the leader of the gang of bandits, uh, Dogo Gidi, during the meeting accused security personnel of killing many of their family members and that many of them had lost virtually all their possessions through cattle, wrestling, extortion by security agents and military bombardment. Gidi lamented that thousands of their youth do not have anything to do and no means of livelihood, hence their decision to go into armed struggle. He also shown the delegation an entire community said to have been raised in a military bombardment and corpse dumped in wells. Pleading for their understanding, Gumi in a trending video alleged that no Muslim soldiers were stirring confusion with the aim of wrecking havoc. What I want you people to understand is soldiers that are involved in most of the uh, criminalities are not Muslims. You know soldiers have Muslims and non-Muslims. The non-Muslims are the ones causing confusion just to ignite crisis, Gumi said. My people, she una don't hear the matter so. So what do you have to say about this? Let's hear from you. Leave your opinion below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much. God bless you.